Hi guys, Adam here I'm with Steve outside Old Trafford. 2-1 against Middlesbrough today. Last minute win, thanks to Paul Pogba's header. How are you making that, Steve? Mint. The ending was mint. The ending was absolutely quality. It felt like old United, didn't it? Uh, I've just been chatting to a couple of people around here. Charlie's old man says, when they scored, he knew he was winning it. I was like, I didn't have your confidence, pal, in all honesty. I thought, thought we would score another goal after the first one that got ruled out. I didn't see us getting two in the time that we had left, the way the game was going. And I just thought, we're going to pull a draw out of this, but I can't see us pulling a winner out. And we just went for it. We kept running for it. And my dad stole my line uh, about Mourinho. When was the last time you saw Mourinho take a defender off and throw a forward on? We've changed him. We've changed Jose Mourinho already. Now, if we can only get him to start playing a couple of the youngsters, we've got ourselves a top replacement for Sir Alex Ferguson in the long run. Manchester United are going to be a force in 2017. The league might have gone so far, but do you know what? We've still got loads of cups and we've still got to run up to the start of next season. We're going to do something with this team. We're going to do something with this manager. There's some absolutely sick performances there today. Anthony Marshall looked on it, did it? Looked like someone had stole his watch or something. He was mad. He was running around the place like it mattered. Pogba was class. Mkhitaryan, I've just not even got words to describe how good Mkhitaryan is. Zlatan again didn't really look like he was on a boil, but still put the ball in the back of the net, which should have stood, by the way. Yeah, poor decision, that. Poor, poor decision. The no, referee was No, he was sh mate. It was the... We said Rashford we could come down, down should have been a pen. Should have been a pen. We had a pass back. The first half pass back was a pass back. The second half one, everyone around us was like, I don't know a pass back. Well, that one was a, a sh clearance was what that was the first one was a pass back I, d I don't understand what the officials are doing when they come to Old Trafford and they're just Jose Mourinho can't call it but I'll say it the refs are absolutely and United are getting stiff by them you can go all the way back to the derby I don't think you I don't think you'd be watching Jose does go <laughs> well no he's not allowed to though is he and he still gets it Arsene Wenger can say what he wants and they write apologies to him yeah. Jose Mourinho says what's actually happening with the referees because some of the refereeing decisions that United have had against them this year have been absolutely shocking and borderline corrupt that's what some of that was like today how does Zlatan put the ball in the back of the net and then follow through it's about three yards away from the keeper and then even if he collects him on the follow through the goals happened. That happened afterwards. You can't give a foul for that. That's absolutely ridiculous. He had you every right to challenge. You can't give a foul for challenge. something. Yeah. You can't predict something's going to happen because nah. it, it's, that, it's, the goal should have stood. And that's just the symptom of our season. And people say, oh, he's moaning about referee decisions. It's valid. If it's a valid thing to moan about, someone made a, co a compilation, didn't they, of all the referee decisions. And people say, oh, stop moaning. It evens out. It f doesn't even out. It does not even out. Referees don't go, actually. Yeah, we was wrong on them, so uh, we're going to give them some easy ones. doesn't work like that. The referees try and call it how they see it, and if it's been sh one week, it's still going to be sh the next week. It's not going to even itself out. That's a fallacy. That's one of those myths that goes around that City fans that come from Manchester. Who's your man in the match today? Um, I thought Anthony Marshall was quality. Were you, were, you, were you worried about it? Obviously, there's been a lot of talk about Marshall leaving and all that. No. Have you been worried by him? No. Why would I be worried about him? This is a 21-year-old lad that's learning his trade. He's not exactly the most natural left winger in the world. He's a guy that's got to learn his trade. He's got a guy in front of him that's not going to get dropped. So he's got to he's got to be happy being second fiddle. And if he can be a second fiddle to a guy that's just scored 50 goals and it should have been 51 in the oh, yeah, in club right, football, right. in club football in 2016, right? Then that's fair enough. He's 21 years of age. The Class of 92 lads were still just making debuts and coming on for cameos and stuff at this age. Anthony Marshall is an absolutely quality footballer when his head's in the game. If he can just start a bit of consistency, get a bit of consistency, he's going to be a right handful. And all that stuff about Sevilla and West Ham, stop it. Honestly, West Ham, what are you drinking to think that you're going to get Rashford or Marshall? Do you not know how good this boy is? I wouldn't swap your stadium for the pair of them, you muppets. But Anthony Marshall has got everything that he needs to do in this game and the, the talk of him going to Sevilla that's agents right his agents doing what Luke Shaw's did when when Jose called him out and said oh he was out of position for that he was out of position he's not having a go at Luke Shaw he's just stating the fact that Luke Shaw was out of position for something his agent does what the agent do flats sees his ass gets in the papers like oh and starts defending his man I think something similar has happened with the guy from Sevilla or with what's going on with Sevilla I think what they're saying is Anthony Marshall hasn't been playing. He doesn't look like his first choice under Mourinho. I think the agent's just trying to stir up a bit of shit, find some clubs that are interested and then come to the board because they probably have regular meetings with the board or with the manager or whatever. And they'll be like, oh, look, we've got loads of people who will play him if you're not going to. Now, there might be loads of people that will play him, loads of people that would want him, loads of people that would take him. But Manchester United, quite rightly, just don't want to sling it. You're not getting Anthony Marshall. He's one of ours for the future and he's got a big, big future, mate. Not only that, his present's quite good as well. 
Not bad, not bad. He's not bad little presence yet. I mean, he, he, he could have had a couple of goals himself today. I thought early in the game it looked like he was trying to set Zlatan up to break the record. There was times when you think Anthony Marshall goes alone and he buries that himself and he laid it off as Zlatan. Maybe that's him learning that winger position, still doesn't know the correct decision at the correct time. That takes time. But he's got a good he's got a good lie to uh, to mentor him in Zlatan and he will play for up front for Manchester United. He will get that number nine shirt and spot back eventually. Cheers, man.